Hey guys, this is Daz the What Back Atom Swifter. Um, coming to you on YouTube. Um, I've just been doing a bit of work the last couple of days just to try to standardise my brand um, across all of the platforms. Um, it's a obvious thing to do, I suppose, but I've been podcasting as Let Me Atom and uh, I've also just created an Instagram account. Um, I've got a Twitch account. I've also got, um, I've done my Twitter account the same again. So uh, if you knew me on the podcasts before as Let Me Atom, um, I'm now What Bike Atoms with her and I am across all the platforms. So um, what I'm trying to do as well is to build up a bit of a subscriber base on YouTube. So I'm going to try to do a lot more of these, um, these kind of um, tutorials or just kind of uh, hints and tips types of videos. I hope that you'll find them useful. Um, hit subscribe and uh, any questions that you've got, any points. Uh, and I do pick these up as well in the Facebook groups that I'm in. I'm in the What Bike uh, Atom and the What Bike Atom owners as well as the Atom Racing Team um, Facebook groups. And I do see quite a lot of questions, the common questions that seem to come through. So I'm going to try and address some of them here with you today. Uh, as you can see, I'm just going to uh, do a quick pan around um, this is the pain cave. So um, there's the what bike. Uh, there's the, uh, the the music stand, which I've mentioned quite a lot of in the past. Uh, very cheap, actually. Um, I will let you have a read of the uh, the brand name of it. Absolutely makes no sense, but you recognise these sorts of brand names from um, Amazon. So Amazon do some great kind of compatible stuff. I mean, that is. I think it was about twenty five quid. It's a music sheet stand. I'm just going to come around here and I'm going to uh, camera around you so I can, I can really kind of demonstrate that to you. So it's uh, it's a music sheet stand. It, uh, it's fairly stable. It's, I've never knocked it over yet. Um, the the, uh, the legs on this are adjustable. You can obviously lock off the base uh, once you've got that set in there. It's a tripod. So again, very stable. Um, you've got two um, height adjustments on it. So it's a telescopic kind of... Um, uh, pole on there as well so you can adjust that to any height whatsoever which I know some of the more expensive um, let's just say the £99.99 .99 pence versions that you can get from one of the famous um, electronic bike brands no names no pack drills wahoo um, but to pay a hundred quid for a table when with this one with I'm getting out of breath now with this one there's a knob at the back hey come on let's keep it clean uh, there's a knob at the back that you can do that with. So, I mean, I can have that. Be careful now, because the iPad's on top of it. I can have that as a horizontal table. And if I wanted to, I could stick gels, iPads, laptops. I mean, it'll take quite a lot of weight on there as well. Um, so, so I've got, not only have I got something which I can use, um, obviously just lock that back off again, set that back up for tonight. See, I told you everything will start falling off. Um, got these little, pick up my remote for the soundbar. So you've got these little um, clamps as well, uh, spring loader clamps, so you can have pieces of paper. So when you've got your fan on, again, top tip, um, this is supposed to be for a music sheet, right? But you can just kind of put your little cheat sheets on there. That was just my little uh, cue card for the keyboard shortcuts that I put on um, on my Samsung Galaxy, so that when I was doing the lead, on a ride of ours on Tuesday, I didn't have to type it out in full. I literally just put the um, the, sh the keyboard shortcuts in there. There's another free tip for you. So, so that was um, that was a, a real good purchase for me. Um, you're probably wondering, am I a shepherd? Well, no. Although I do come from Yorkshire and uh, probably have spent quite a lot of my youth um, across the fields. Uh, this is um, it's a shepherd's crook. For those of you who are in the military, will recognise if I can get it into focus. We'll recognise that is a, um, a, a regimental cap badge or a core cap badge. Uh, try and get really close in that. So I had this made by a, um, a 70 or an 80 year old gentleman who uh, was around uh, 2011. I think I got this made. He used to make these in his uh, garage. Nice bit of, um, I think that's willow or something like that. So a nice bit of uh, willow wood. Nice bit of, um, that is... Um, Ebony, I think it is, and I can't remember what the black was. I think that's walnut. Um, really formed this. Why do I keep a shepherd's crook in the paint cave, I hear you ask? Well, I don't, because I haven't got you on full sound. Let me just come around and demonstrate. So I'm going to do it from my perspective. So I'm now the what bike. Okay. And I forgot to shut the bifold doors so I can reach over and grab hold of it. 
<laughs> and I can close the door. So I don't even have to get off the bike. Again, everybody needs a shepherd's crook. Or is that everybody needs a bosom for a pillow? I'm not sure. Um, so that stays there. And again, um, if there's anything else that I need to problem, you know, if I drop things on the floor, it's got a... Get this thing round. It's got one of those little uh, rubber spiky things on there so you don't damage paths and that when you're walking on it. So if I drop pieces of paper and I want to drag it towards me, <laughs> it's like, it just sounds like I'm a complete idiot in the pain cave, right? But I can use that and, uh, and grab hold of it. Uh, what's that on the floor, Daz? The what bike happens with right here, you ask? I haven't seen that before. Well, you've seen that one, right? Oh, and what's that on there? Well, I was just talking... Um, Wahoo and the ridiculous cost for their tables. I'm not kind of slating them. If you want to spend 100 quid on a table, go ahead. You know, there's plenty of places. Backer and Stonehouse, you can do that uh, if you fancied it. Um, but they also do the um, the kicker headwind, which, as you know, is that fan, which is apparently super great. It gives you great um, kind of directional control. Even listens to your heartbeat, and it will make it go faster and slow it down, depending on how high or low your heart rate is, yeah, it's great, you know what I mean? If you want to buy something for that, that's that's yours to spend. But the 200 quid, 200 quid for a, a fan. You know, that thing cost me, that thing cost me um, 34 99 from Screwfix. My wife will say, shop. it isn't. Um, I like home bargains because I'm a bit of a pikey Yorkshireman like that. Um, however, this thing is, is uh, made by Vacmaster. Vacmaster make a number of uh, products and no, I'm not on commission. Make a number of products, mostly for the trade, uh, construction trade, drying out floors and stuff like that, much bigger. This is a specific model that they brought out called Cardio 2. Um, doesn't have the name on it anyway, which I think is a bit of a, a branding um, a kind of faux pas. They should have really put that on and branded it up as Cardio 4 pas. Um, three speed settings on it. As of that, does I hear you say, that had three settings on it. The difference is, that one, when I put it on the floor, uh, whatever speed I set it to was the speed I was stuck with. So if I didn't want to blow everything off my body in speed three because I'm doing recovery ride, I couldn't get, I couldn't really change that. This one has got a setting on it, as you can see. Uh, there is a Bluetooth symbol. We just about get it into focus there. But there are also three speed settings. But the difference with this one is. That it is, a, it is the same as a, a kicker headwind, it will give you a column of air. So I've got this, depending on where your bike is positioned, um, there are three settings. You're going to be riding in a very funny position if you have to put that into upright. Um, there is that position, which is optimal for me, but you can also um, put it in that position, which is straight across the floor. So if you've got wet floors in the house, grab it, put it in the house, dry your floors off, particularly on a Sunday when you're doing your, or if you've got a, a laminate floor where your pain cave is um, and you need to dry that off use this it'll dry it off uh, sweat and everything it'll clear everything out of here so why um, this one well simply and, and I'll apologize in the I'm getting out of breath I've got a I've got a hoodie on I'm inside there's no air I feel like I'm gonna pass out I don't really I'm joking right so I'm on I'm on the what bike and as you can see when I go Oh there, let me out. I'm going to have to get um, Andy, actually, who made me that one, to do me another one. Um, I'll apologise in the first instance. How are you going to try to get let, uh, what by Catam Zwifter? That noise wasn't a mouse that I sat on. It was my seat going back for some reason. Um, so now what I've got is I've got the one, two, three speed controls on that. Um, and I can turn it on and off. If you watch the red light down there, I can turn it on. It's currently on speed one. Um, what I can tell you is that this piece of paper should demonstrate it quite well. If I if I hold the paper there, you can see how far away that is from the bike. And then if I start to move that in, I get the column of air starting there. Continues right in my face there. Goes over onto the other side. And then has disappeared. So I've literally got... I have to put that in there now because otherwise that will blow off and hit me in the face. Um, slightly off centre because I've moved it a little bit, right? But if I want that to be on fan speed three, as you can hear that's quite a lot. That's about 30, 30 miles an hour. I think that comes out at from um, from the fan, and that's really nice and cool. That makes a massive difference. Um, and I can just
just knock it off like that. That makes a massive difference, believe me, when you're on the bike, um, and you, particularly if you're doing um, team time trials. That thing um, would have cost me 99.99, and it's worth every single penny. Um, however, keep your eye out on the website, Vacmaster. They are offering 25% discounts. Um, cords appear on all over, and that's what I got that one with, 25% uh, discount. So it cost me 74, 75 quid. Money well spent, definitely. Why have you still got that out, I hear you say? Well, um, if I can't change the speed on that, what I can do is I can control when it comes on and off. And as you can see behind, there's another tip. Um, I've got a, um, probably got too many, you know, if the fiber gear came in, they'd probably say, what are you doing with that? That's far too many. These are all fairly low current. This is a, a Dyson charger uh, for that thing. Sadly, ever on. That's for the shredder, which uh, I've just used, is now off. That's very low current. That's for the Apple TV. Again, low current. That's for the uh, Sonos speaker. That one is just for um, a, a Bluetooth extension, a Bluetooth 3 extension for the PC, which is next door. And that one is just to charge up um, that iPad whenever I'm going there. So please, please, please don't start plugging in fans, electric fans and everything else onto your strips. Only low current on there. Make sure it's fused as well. I've also got that as a power protector source as well. So power surge source and everything. So it is safe, believe me. I'm not just um, saying that to be funny. Um, what bike goes in on its separate socket? But what I can do is I've got um, some of these, which are the, the little tapos, um, little tapo Wi-Fi plugs. So I can control these and I can schedule these to come on. So this one... Uh, again, just another tip. This is one of those bar heaters um, manufactured on a, a homemade stand. A uh, little bar heater uh, designed for greenhouses. Just keeps a nice ambient temperature in here. I put that on, or I, I'm not going to use it very much now because we're going to be putting the clocks forward and it should be getting a lot warmer. Uh, that just keeps um, keeps some of the frosty uh, temperatures out of uh, out of the the, uh, the garage because this is, believe it or not, a garage. Um, but what you can do is these tapos, which are made by TP-Link, I've also got a power on and off button. So if I was to just show you that LED, that LED has now come on and now it's gone off. So on the very, very hot rides, I know I've got this that I can use and I can give me a blast of air at the front, um, which obviously goes straight up over my face. But to add that extra level of um, cooling, I also had that thing and I plugged in where that is so I can just literally reach from the saddle down to there and I can just knock that on. So I had sideways um, airflow uh, cooling most of the sweat on the back of me uh, and the forward airflow as well. So that's part of my cooling bin if you like. So um, the other thing that I do as well, um, again, not every ride but really on the hard stuff. So maybe on a, on a crit race or on a team time trial is I, uh, this is from Decathlon. Um, it's called an Everdict. Again, crazy names like Kahaya, right? Everdict, but they do some great products. What this is designed as um, is, is a running vest. So it's a little bit like, I'm gonna hang it on here so you can see it better, right? It's a little bit like a, um, a, a cycling jersey. It's got lots of pouches in it. Okay, so you've got two, Fairly biggish pouches in there. You can see on either side, you've got little ones in there. And at the back, you've got um, a cross one that goes across the bottom of your back. And you've also got one that kind of goes down inside as well, in between your shoulder blades. What I do, I haven't got any in here. Um, but what you go on, again, if you go on to um, Amazon, don't, don't buy these things from these these great kind of websites like, um, what's the one? No Pins. No Pins do a great range of it. Um, far too expensive for what they are. Little pouches you can get. They're, um, they're normally listed under medical supplies or something like that. Um, basically, warm, cold um, gel patches. Uh, gel pouches, not patches. Um, stick them in the freezer. I'm going to turn that down a little bit. Stick them in the freezer, forget about them. When you need them, take them out. They defrost in about 20, 25 minutes. Um, stick them in the pouches of that. I put, I put a long one in the back. I put another long one across there. And on the front, just on the chest, uh, just to try to encourage some of that cooler 
um, sensation going through your chest, especially when you when you're blowing out, um, you know, when you're really kind of um, uh, working hard. A couple of pouches in there, which I normally fold in half, and they'll fit in there nice and snugly. Hang that, believe it or not, this does take the weight. Hang that on your uh, music stand, and then when you've done your warm up and you're ready to start the ride, unclip it, stick it on. It's got three little uh, toggle. Uh, fasteners on the front keeps it in place if you start getting cramp um, or if you start getting a, a stitch you do just you can just basically unpop them as you're riding so that's uh, another real real good tip there for cooling um, other sort of things um, hydration so have something um, next year that within reach uh, this is probably a little bit too low from what I need but it was all I could get at the time uh, but having said that I can stick my water bottle on there and I can I can reach across and get that um, other things that I've seen people use as well are those, um, you know, those camelbacks with the straws as well. So you, you can use that. And obviously, if you were incorporating, you could put your cooled water in the back with a little at the top of you as well. So you, you kind of got the straw hanging down. Oh, look at that. It's a, a fake straw, right? And you just take your drinks that way. So there's lots of different things that you uh, you can do. Uh, gel pouches as well. I've got, as you can see in the corner, I've got a, a complete box of, uh, it's not PhD, incidentally, it's, it's SIS, which I think has been bought out. But again, um, you know, things like uh, bags of mixed nuts, especially if you're, if you're riding um, some of the, uh, the 100 kilometer ones. I don't have any in here. Oh, here we go. Um, electrolyte salts. I can't... Um, I can't recommend this uh, this product uh, any highly. These are your little race vials. A uh, little little bottle, uh, sorry, little tub that you get, probably about that sort of um, diameter, probably about that deep, full of um, mixture of minerals and salts. Um, FEKD. Uh, if you check out the website or if you drop me a comment, I'll uh, introduce you to uh, to Gaz, who's uh, in the Atom Racing team. He sells it. Full 500, 600 mil water bottle, three little, really small little uh, scoops. I'm not talking about like teaspoons worth. It's not super salty water. Um, really helps um, when you're riding, when you start getting, um, you'll start getting cramp if you ride for too long, too hard, too fast, and you're not giving your um, your muscles the electrolytes that it needs. Um, the little race vials are designed so that you can take it um, basically the quickest way to absorb it into your body is through your tongue so um, you basically take a little uh, bit of it on your finger you rub it along the side of your tongue um, do that every um, every 10 or 15 minutes and obviously take a swig of uh, of water um, every 15 10 to 15 minutes as well just so you can make sure you keep yourself hydrated you see i'm getting down on the floor now because the other thing that i've seen quite a lot of about what pedals can you put onto your what bike um, there's quite a few of them that have um, that have been delivered recently and they're still waiting on their uh, pedals to be delivered. These are uh, Wellgo E148s, uh, dual sided. So one side has got the SLs and the other side has got the standard um, S uh, Shimano SPDs on them. So I've got um, SLs on the bottom of my shoes, um, but I've also got my wife uses um, and she use, she prefers the SPDs. You can buy these from um, what bike themselves. They do tend to go out of stock as quickly as they come in, so keep your eye on it. But uh, in addition, you can get them on um, Amazon if you if you're lucky. Two water bottle containers there again. Uh, there, if you need additional water, if you're doing a long ride, you have your one up there. You can also have uh, two spare bottles down there. Other tip as well is use the crossbar. Um, lay a towel across it. Um, not so much for uh, particularly being able to, although you do use it, um, you can pick it up, but really just to try to keep a lot of the, the sweat and everything else from trickling down and going down um, the um, the riser for the handlebars. And uh, to a degree as well, it will stop quite a lot going down through the seat post. This won't really be affected that much, um, although this is a plastic liner that's inside the, the seat stem. Uh, and, and it goes obviously straight down into the electrics. So, um, you know, just, just be mindful of that. The um, You can see that the TT pads, which I, I do use, I've had to do a quick fix on them. I have got some new ones to replace. As soon as this starts to peel right off, um, they will be getting replaced. Again, pick them up. When you see them in stock on, on Atom, uh, what bike Atom um, uh, accessories and spare parts list, I'd, I'd grab them. So at least you've, you've got them when you need them. Um, this thing... Again, I've, I've said quite a lot about this in the past. Uh, real good 
piece of kit, sticking your, your smartphone on there, your iPad, whatever, and get these little bungees if you can. Again, uh, sometimes when you're riding along, you get a little bit uh, too aggressive. Um, so what I've started to do is I've just started to put remote controls in behind there just to make sure that uh, if, if I did lose them um, or if I did ride too hard, I wouldn't lose them on the floor. This bit is, you know, I'll probably need to look at changing the tape as well. So just be mindful of the fact that these things aren't 100% waterproof. So as you're using the watt bike, you are going to generate quite a lot of sweat. Um, the danger is that you will then start to damage and erode underneath. Um, so you've, well, you've got a nice uh, black finish on that there. But the water ingress will eventually uh, eat away at, at those handlebars. The handlebars are clearly going to be a lot more of an expense to replace if you don't look after them. Um, so try to keep mindful of that and try not to encourage water to stay in there. So once you finish your ride, if you know that that is going to be wet from finishing it try to get your antibacterial wipes i just use um, a pack of the ones that you can pick up from uh, wilco's or any other store that you use give them a good clean off make sure you, you try to get as much of that salt content off as you can and leave the fan on for maybe half an hour after you finish the ride just to try to get uh, some of that um, all dried off um, other things that you might find come into stock um, might be for instance and i've got uh, some bits in here which are useful so this stuff you can get from um, you can get this from screw fix this is what's known as self amalgamating tape so the white bit you peel off uh, inside you've got um, black rubber it's not handlebar tape it's literally this stuff you'll, you'll have seen it on there on the tripods and there's a little bit that I've put um, around here as well so on the joints where um, your sections of, um, of of the frame go together. I've sealed all of them off with this self amalgamating tape, so it's a little bit more watertight um, on there and also on the bottom there as well. So uh, again, it's only a couple of quid, I think. It might even be three or four quid. I can't remember, um, but really good stuff. Um, let's see what else we've got in here. I've got a got stuff put all over the place. Um, this stuff. Um, muck off sweat protect if you can get it uh, use that just give you your frame uh, a good a good couple of squeezes once or twice a month should be enough unless you're using your bike all the time 5.99 i think i got that from um start fitness so if you look on start fitness's website you can get that probably need to do my bike again actually so just, i'm going to leave that out and remind me to do it um other things that you can get spare chain uh, so i bought a spare chain from the atom um, three pounds something I think it was um, you could probably do a lot of the servicing yourself um, there's the the tripods for when I need to replace them and the other things that I got was if I can find them yeah I'm here somewhere you see it's all well organized okay so I also got um, a new seat clamp and handle so you can just about make out in there, uh, if I can get the focus. Right, so I've got a new seat clamp, which is this bit, um, because it will start to grind away at the back. You can see I've got a few um, bits of tape on there as well, um, because you normally just, um, if, you, if you're using it for yourself, you've got your seat set and it, and it doesn't change, it stays in the same position. If you're multi-using it, it goes from one position to another and you will start getting wear and tear on it. So again, um, just a tip, if you see the um, the handles coming into stock on the Watt Bike spare parts list, make sure you get them. Um, I think that's probably enough. If, the, if there are any others, I'm gonna leave that out now so I can, uh, I can remember to kind of clean that off. Um, if there are any other questions, please um, leave them below in comments and I'll try and cover them on the, uh, the, the next meetings. I've just found my SIS gels because I've got so many of them. Um, they are brought out fruit salad flavour. Energy gel, fantastic. Um, so that's it. Thank you very much. Remember, it's now what bike happens with. They're not let me at them. Uh, please subscribe. Share this with anybody that you think might benefit from it. Um, if you have got a what bike atom but are still uh, not in an associated racing team, uh, think about joining the atom racing team. Uh, we're on Facebook. We're all very very friendly, and everybody that's in it is very supportive, uh, fully inclusive. We've got people from all over the world in there. Um, we do a mixture of social rides. 
Um, we have uh, our own Facebook Messenger groups as well for each of the categories, and we've got a Discord um, server as well. So we've got quite a lot of stuff um, to support you. Um, the race experience, we we race every Monday, um, every Thursday night. Tuesdays is an option if you want to ride on the Zwift Racing League. Um, we, we do that. And I think Saturday mornings now, I think, uh, we were doing one called Sat Saturday afternoon, but I think that's I think that might have moved. Um, we have got one called the What Bike Cup, I think it is now. Um, but lots and lots of information. So uh, yeah, check us out. Just search Atom Racing Team. There is only one of them on um, on Facebook as as a group. Um, hope to see you in there. Um, okay, that's been fun. Speak to you soon.